I uh, thank you again for your faithfulness in listening to these, uh, or if you're here just as a one-off, well, thank you for giving me a couple of minutes of your time. We're reflecting on Proverbs, we're um, working towards the end of chapter 29 of Proverbs, and we read this in verse 19. Servants cannot be corrected by mere words, though they understand they will not respond. I guess many of us, or most of us, don't have servants. I'm not aware of any of us having servants nowadays. So what's this got to um, tell us today? Well, people who perhaps work for us, people who work among us, people who uh, we lead in a voluntary capacity, people who um, look to us for some sort of leadership, um, cannot, this proverb is suggesting, be corrected by mere words. So they understand, they will not respond. And I think what that is getting at is that um, people need to see the reality of our words in our actions. And if we're asking people to do as I say, not do as I do, then, um, well, they'll soon start losing um, interest, I think. So we have a responsibility to be uh, to show integrity towards what we're asking other people to do. I'm a great believer that we don't ask other people to do stuff that we wouldn't be willing to do ourselves. Um, and that can actually um, put us in some pretty yucky um, situations sometimes. But anyway, what our word, uh, what this is saying, I think, is that our words should be the, the reality, the truth, the evidence of our words should be evident in our actions and in the ways that we live. However, two verses on, there's a kind of um, another aspect to this. Verse 21 says this, a servant pampered from youth will turn out to be insolent. So what that is suggesting is that if those people who look to us for leadership in whatever situation are, have been pampered from youth, if they've been spoiled, then they'll keep questioning and they may keep um, objecting to what we're saying or what we're asking of them. But again, I think if we go back to verse 19, that sense that if people can see our lives reflecting our words, then they see the reality and the power of what we're asking them to do. Now, they may continue to be insolent. They may decide not to listen to us. Well, that's their business. But what I'm trying to focus on just at this moment is how do we lead well? How do we show others that our words uh, match our actions and that what we're asking them to respond to is lived out by us? You may disagree, uh, by all means, let's chat. Let's uh, please get in touch. Let's have a conversation about it. But that's, those are my thoughts, my reflections on these verses. Uh, may God bless you as you go on listening to his voice, which of course is the one to listen to. Let's pray. Father, please help us to live out what we speak out. Amen. That's it. Take care. God bless you.